Hi, I'm Jameis. I'm a network engineer. This is Regular Networks. Today I'm doing a pretty short video. We're looking at PFSense and one-to-one -one NAT. So I want to make this short. This took me a little while to figure out. Um, there's two parts to one-to-one -one NAT with PFSense. First part is a virtual IP. The second part is actually doing the one-to-one -one NAT. And there's a couple scenarios you can use this in. The first scenario is if your ISP hands you a stroke 29, like what I have listed here, that's eight addresses, six usable, six usable addresses. If they hand you a stroke 29, there's going to be one address that's their gateway. There's going to be one address that's your device that leaves you with four usable addresses left. This will work in that scenario. In an alternative scenario, if your ISP hands you a stroke 30, and then lets you route a stroke 29 behind that. You'll have a stroke 30 between your firewall and their gateway, and then a stroke 29 on your devices behind that. In another situation, this will work. In my example, we're going to be using, uh, in my example, I'm just going to say we're on a stroke 29, six usable, um, so four usable to us. So we're going to call that 162.16.20.0 through 172.16.20.7. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into your firewall, and you're going to need to look at virtual IPs. We're going to add a new virtual IP. So what a virtual IP is, is it's saying this isn't the IP address that's on my WAN interface, but I am going to announce it out of this interface. So anything that does ARP, you're going to respond to ARP saying, I have this interface. So everything that does ARP knows to send traffic to you for that address. There's a couple of different ways to do this in PFSense. It's all from this virtual IP window. We can go to type and we can select IP alias. That's a good default. That works for one address and only one. Um, another great type is other. So when we go to other, you'll see we have the option to select single addresses or a network. So in the case that our ISP is handing us a stroke 30, we want to have a stroke 29, we can do a network and we can do 172.16.20.0. We'll make that a stroke 29. There you go. And we have a new network right now. That means that PFSense is going to announce everything that's in this network. Great. Now the second thing we have to do is make our one-to-one -one NAT. So let's go ahead and apply this. So we're just going to use 172.16.21 as the one-to-one -one NAT address. So we're going to go to Firewall, NAT, one-to-one, -one, add. And we're going to come down here, we're looking at address family IPv4. We're going to say that our external address is going to be 172.16.20.1. And that our internal address is going to be, uh, let's see, 10.0.0.1. Actually, that one's already in use. 1.30. And then we'll just select save. We'll apply changes. That's it. That's how you set up one-to-one -one NAT on PFSense. I'm Jameis. This has been Regular Networks. Thank you for your time.